Hi there, this is Kalin once again. A very warm welcome to Hack Announce. And guys, in this video, I'm just gonna show you the demo of my project that I created in a previous hackathon, and that is based on IoT security. So, guys, without being more said, let's get started. So guys the project was based on IoT security in this project I just show the different level of hacks on the IoT devices and the final patch uh, which is unable to hack so guys here I use the smart LEDs in place of these LEDs you can also use any sensor or any actuator which uh, which gives the value to the microcontroller and uses the IoT devices so here I am having three Arduino node MCU and one Raspberry Pi so the, and every of the devices is having is specific ip so the ip of this first device is 43 or 36 the ip of this device is the uh, 205 and the ip of this is 43 or 175 and last is 38 for raspberry pi so the all of these devices are connected in the same wi-fi network and the hacker is also connected to the same wi-fi network so now in this uh, in this demo the hacker will hack hack the devices from one by one and on the last raspberry pi device he will be unable to hack and in place of this raspberry pi we can also use the arduino node amcu currently due to the unavailability we are using a raspberry pi so without being more said let's see the demo of the project uh, so here we are having two machines one is this victim machine and one this one is the attacker machine so first of all let me show you what we are having in this node here we are having this node and the ip of this node is 43 or 36 and we can check out the ip and here we are taking the assumption that uh, the attacker is in the same Wi-Fi zone. So now the attacker is just uh, using ARP scan for getting getting out the IP. So now he is able to get the IP dot to the IP of my node AMCU and uh, it's a smart light. So let me show you. Here you can see there is no authentication and directly he is able to turn on turn off the LED. You can see here is the turn and and turn off. So he is able to do it. Now the hacker will hack it. So how will hack? He will use in TCP dump. And the command is tcp dumps hyphen i. There is the interface that is VLAN zero, and you can check for the interface by using I, I, if config. And here, it, what it is, it will execute a file name out. Okay, and then now it's just listening and turn on, turn off. Just so what it is doing, he runs the TCP dump, and now the user is just using that device. As the user will use this device, then the packet get traced. So now the packet get, uh, you can see here the 203 two, packets received by the filter. And here he will find the packet. As here we are using a get operation, so you just spot that because in the get he is just getting this LED on and off so that he can redirect that. So now he is using netcat on the IP because as he got the IP using ARP scan previously and is the port he is specified the port. Now he is, what he is doing, he just uh, got this LED on and off HTTP.1. This is the header which is he getting. So he is just redirecting this header and you can see guys without any access, without any IP, he is able to, to on and off this LED. So guys, currently we are having the LED, but suppose if there is a sensor, then what can happen? A major disaster can also happen. So this is the one attack. Now let's see the attack two. So guys, here we are initializing our second attack in which we are using this node and the IP of this node is 205. Let me show you the output what we are, we are having. So this is the victim machine in which I am showing the output. So he just typed the IP and the, what the output he will get, you can see as I type enter. So what we have done, we have just increased the level of security in which we are using a form which is using a post operation and when the username, he will type the username password, he will just get that, that screen that we have previously shown you. So what we have done, so now this is the, uh, this is our device. Now, now let's show you the what we have so first of all uh, hacker go to the ARP scan and he just ping it and now he will again start the TCP dump for capturing the packets as we have previously done on the VLAN 0 as the VLAN 0 is the interface and he just getting out the file name the out so he just doing it and for your demonstration I am just opening my file Wireshark so that I can also show you there in the Wireshark you can go to the capture option that is like the VLAN 0 options so he just starting the packet capturing and just uh, listening on the port so now uh, here you can see the user is just typing his username and credential so he just type username and password as he submit you can see here on the buy shop we get the many requests on you uh, if the user type switch on and switch off you can see off please yeah so uh, so now he can see, uh, you can see here on my washer I got many of the requests and I need to check where, where is that request in which we can get this username and password. So he got there and uh, he just go to HTML you can see the thing here he got the username is the admin and he is the root. Now here on the washer we are able to uh, show the username and password. Now let's see the TCP dump. So in the TCP dump uh, here he just uh, uh, of the TCP dump he just show the cat out. 
So guys, now as it at the TCP dump, he's just uh, going to the out file and see whether we are able to get it from the. Uh, so now you can see as it at the grab user. Here we are able to get the admin and the password. So now we are done with TCP dump and Wireshark. So now he's just typing the IP 192.168.43.205. As he got there login. Here he is got the as he got the username in the terminal admin and the password is to root. As you click on submit, he's just able to get the switch on, switch off, switch on, switch on. So here hacker is able to get the access by switch on and switch off. So that's done. Now let's see the attack three. So guys, here we starting our attack three in which we are using some encryption technique in the post operation. So first of all, the IP here is one dot one seventy five. So we are having a ping connection from here. And in the victim, you can see the the user interface. There is no change in user interface. The changes in the backend. And we will show you. We have captured the packet through Fiddler here. Fiddler is a tool for capturing the packet. So this is the login. And let me show you my. Let's type the admin and the password. So I will get on and I can dot uh, do on and off. So that's done. Yeah. So guys, now you can see the there is a packet which is captured in Fiddler in which we are giving a password that is encrypted. So we have just used a lower level of encryption. We can use AES DS also. So now what he will do? He is unable to. Get the password. If the encryption is there, he is unable to get the password. But what he can do, he can directly replace this packet. As you can see, he will replace the packet. And you can uh, observe in this screen. Here, he is able to replace. So he just hacked it through replacing the packets. He just switching on and off. And if there is any sensor, then this can be very disastrous. So that's the level three attack. And we have used encryption. Now let's see the final patch for this, and which we will be using Raspberry Pi. So without being more said, let's see. So guys, here we are using a Raspberry Pi, which is our final patch, and this I will show you uh, that what we are, what the final patch is doing. So first of all, let's see the let's see the user machine in which we just type the IP. We got the the IP is dot thirty. We got it from ping, and here you can see it as I go and uh, the login dot php. We have just taken the remote access here, and here as we login, here we got to the access to the IoT console, and he can directly click on LED on and off. He is able to do that. So now the biggest thing is if we go back. So as we go back, we got the session expired and the invalid login, invalid login token. So it means what we are having, uh, we are using a something like CSRF token here. So as we have previously opened Fiddler in the background, let's see what we are able to get in the Fiddler. If we go in the Fiddler here, in the packets here, it shows the response body is encoded and click here to decode. If we if, if we click on decode, then also you can see there is nothing that we are able to get. It means there is no token, and if we again try to replay this packet also, then we are unable to re replay. It shows the PHP ESS ID something like that, and we are unable to do this. As he as he replayed, then you can see there is nothing got happen. So this is the final patch in which uh, we are not able to hack this out. We that this is the most secure model. So this was the first version, second version. Third version and the last one is the fourth version, which is one of the final secure patch. And we, if we try, we can also use Node MCU here, this controller here, in place of this Raspberry Pi. So I think that's it. You like it? If you like, please don't forget to like. So guys, that's it for this tutorial. If you like, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Bye bye, and have a nice day.